KHK Choi, and I'm here to talk about Permanent Record. And full disclosure, I used to work here. It's a love story that is a young adult novel that follows Pablo and Liana, who meet and fall in love. Unfortunately, Pablo is a college dropout with crippling debt, and Liana is a pop star juggernaut with millions of followers across all social platforms, and she has clout for days. Liana isn't based on any one single person. People have made the illusion that she is reminiscent of an Ariana Grande, and certainly Pablo is not based on Pete Davidson. So expensive and special that she's never allowed to steer, the cargo of her own body being too precious. This story came to me because of the grand nature of the celebrity industrial complex. I really wanted kind of a flip on Notting Hill, except more contemporary. Love through social media, love through fame, love through incredible distortion. I wanted to navigate what that kind of intimacy looked like. Little known fact, the green gummy bears are strawberry? If sentences could reinstate your virginity, this would be a strong contender. When you live in New York, anything can happen at any given time. And I did not know a location that would allow for more suspension of disbelief, like having some like pop star walk into your bodega and you start dating, like New York. It's a kind of meet cute where your entire guts fall into your asshole because like the pressure is really high. And they hit it off and of course hijinks and all sorts of melodrama ensues. It's the equivalent of giving a child the keys to a Bugatti Veyron and expecting it to turn out okay. So I grapple with um, student debt in this book and actually also like really predatory credit practices, which is kind of deeply unsexy to be like, I wrote a YA book about finance. The student loan debt in this country is a trillion dollars. That is just like clown car money. That is just like the trash can emoji. I do think it's like a really important part of understanding a young person in terms of like why they may hesitate to make mistakes. I've gotten Hawaiian a few times too, since it's every mixed kid's birthright to endure countless rounds of, yo, let me guess what you are, for sport. I really like when I first moved to New York that people weren't just snapping on me for being Asian. People were like, the thing about Koreans. And I was like, oh my God, I get my own racial epithets. New York is magical. Pablo is a mixed heritage, South Korean and Pakistani kid. And his friend group, similarly, the swirl is just glorious. Food is a really big part of Permanent Record because that is a mixed kid's love letter to both sides of his heritage. He doesn't feel insecure or feel less Korean because he's like throwing Kraft American cheese singles into his ramen because as he knows, any self-respecting Korean person would do that with a little bit of corn and maybe some spam. I swear to God, Instagram is Taco Bell for your head. The thing that people really sleep on is how resourceful, like almost insidiously, eighth graders are. If you really want to know what's going on with the youth, really talk to middle schoolers, because that is a treasure trove. I still care about what young people care about, not only just to sort of scrape their data and sell it to other people, but just to know where we're heading. I'm not going to like sit and make every TikTok or Fortnite reference just because that would be dated almost immediately. I love how quickly culture changes. Even just keeping track of the velocity of that is just really invigorating and super fun. It's something I'm gonna do for a long time until it really embarrasses me. 